muscle factory. What's up guys, coming to you from Muscle Factory, Tempe, Arizona. We're going to film a back day today, throwing a little biceps at the end. We are actually outside in the Arizona heat, it's about 110 degrees. Uh, last time we filmed, I don't remember when that was, it's been a bit, but I did not have this much of a beard going on. I thought with September starting up, the temps might be cooling down, but it's been heat advisory all week, so sweating, but we're going to grow the off-season beard back. Um, so we're going to show you what we do. It's just me today. Dusty lives in South Carolina, and I haven't had a full-time training partner out here since he left. Um, I got some people that swap in here and there, but for the most part, it's just me. We're going to start off on the hammer strength pull-down. I'll show you what we do each movement. As always, not a lot of volume, but there is a lot of intensity, so let's get to it. Isolateral pull down, doing one arm at a time, supinated grip. Uh, I always like to open with something supinated, and preferably one arm with back. Get each lap firing. Um, I really want to bring up lap thickness. I've got plenty of width, I need more thickness to the lap. So, uh, top set 8 to 12, and then we'll do a back down set after this 12 to 15. So, feeder sets. I did three sets to get up to my working weight. And, uh, you know, the stronger I get, the more feeder sets I have to add in, so there's no set number. If I feel good one day, I might do less. If I need more one day, then I'll have to do more. It's just kind of a trial and error how you feel each day. Traditional barbell rows, um, working up to a top set, six to eight. Um, I let form go a little bit on these. I think your top set, you need to move some iron, some weight you've never moved. Try to clean it up over time, form-wise, but that back down set, which is a higher rep set for me, 12 to 15, that's where you want to be real precise with your form and maybe focus on the squeeze more. But that top set, you know, historically the biggest backs, they move some weight. So you're going to have to get strong on, on your... Uh, your compound movements in the barbell row, I think you're never going to see a guy who had a big back who, you know, didn't at one time row 405 or 315 for 20 reps, something like that. So don't be afraid to use a little body English on that top set. Just get used to holding big weight. It'll make a big difference in how much density you're bringing. Watch the setup of how I do this one. My legs are behind me. 
almost like I'm hitting a rear double bicep shot on stage. Um, pick the, elevate the chest, pick your diaphragm up, and arch back. Let those erectors almost shorten and come together. Um, and then focus on driving the elbows past the torso. Again, I want to bias the lat with how I'm pulling. So I'm not thinking scapular retraction as much as I'm thinking driving the elbow down and just past the torso before it gets into full scapular retraction. So again, lat thickness, that's what I'm after. beneficial to pull to the lat. So use a D handle, put it around the handle, and then when I come on, I'm gonna brace against this. I got my reach here. And when I pull, I'm looking to drive my elbow down and back. I don't want to retract the scapula. I want to pull thinking lat first and get that thickness. The guys with the thickest lats from the back, the front and the side, those are guys that stand out on stage. Um, that's something I'm trying to do. I have a big frame, so I have to fill out, fill it out. You're not going to see any you know, rack deads, deadlifts, RDLs on this day. My pull day, which is my back day, um, it's all about pulling for lat thickness. Uh, bent over rows, more for the whole back, but I moved all those big, heavy compound slag movements to uh, a different day, uh, where it's kind of a leg pull day altogether. Um, but my pull day itself, a lot of machines, a lot of fixed planes of motion, just focused on moving as much slag iron as possible with proper form. back movements with the one arm hammer row. Now we're on the biceps. I just do one movement of biceps on pull days. Um, doing a single arm cable curl. Biceps for me, I don't focus much on progressive overload. I do, but at the same time, I have to keep the negatives really, really slow. And really focus on contractions, getting the biceps to grow. Um, so, I'm not going to show you a ton of it. It's pretty boring. Training arms all, all together is boring. So we're just doing three sets here, real slow, three to four count negatives, getting some blood flow in there, hard, hard contractions, and then that'll be a wrap. So quick and easy.
whole day in the books. Got our one bicep movement. Um, like I said, I think we had eight working sets, two for biceps. I've always been low volume. Push the intensity, push the loads. Real big emphasis on the negatives. Um, if you follow me for any length of time, you know how I train by now. So we're gonna keep trying to bring you this content. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you guys wanna see. You wanna see food? You wanna see me talk about my game plan for the off season? Um, we're gonna include all that stuff anyway, but help me help you. I want this content to uh, be a learning tool for people. I try to think of stuff that would have helped me when I was younger to help the, the next uh, generation of bodybuilders coming up to make their path straighter than I had. Um, so like, share, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Until next time, we're out.